All right, what did I get wrong? Okay, first off, that horse is way out of proportion. Neck is way too short, uh, quite barrel chested. I think I was trying to go for a kind of Chinese heavenly horses look, but that didn't quite work. Um, another thing that tends to bother me about my cavalry figure is the torso is kind of turned toward you, but the legs, uh, much like the horse itself, is quite 2D, so that doesn't look quite right. All right, got that Konos type helmet going on in there. A cuirass, long sleeve tunic. Uh, okay, that doesn't look right. The tunic, um, the butt of the tunic is draped over the horse's back. I need to change that, that doesn't work. Uh, okay, the hoplite, a little bit too big, gotta shrink him. Thraco attic helmet looks good, but it's way too big. Um, even after I've shrunk the figure. Okay, the aspis. Needs to be made bigger too. Okay, coloring the horse now and... Okay, lengthen the neck. It does look a bit better. I've gone for a darker brown to make the um, brightly colored tunic and armor uh, pop later. Let's hope that works. Okay, shorten the tunic. That looks a bit better. Uh, yep. Bright yellow saddle cloth to again evoke that kind of uh, Iranian, richly embroidered, richly colored uh, look. Um, green trousers, I don't know why I always associate my Bactrian uh, troops with green trousers. Um, yeah, painted Hellenistic helmet. And yeah, gotta have that fall crest. <laughs> Hellenistic bunny ears, but it's a good look. Um, okay, get that highlighting in. Yeah, I have to have that highlighting on the brim to give it that uh, ripple effect. Uh, very characteristic of that kind of um, Boeotian attic look. Um, okay, one thing I learned, um, get the highlights outside of the outline to really make it pop. Um, okay, shading, highlighting on the clothes. Okay, highlighting on leather. Really need to, to really accentuate it to make it look like leather. Um, all right, shading the legs. Yeah, part of the dog who's barking in the background. Okay, yeah, all those uh, patterns to give again evoke that Iranian look, um, richly embroidered. Okay, one thing I learned about uh, horse hair, uh, it really does have a really strong sheen under the sunlight. So um, to give it that authentic-ish kind of look, really gotta make it pop, even if it doesn't look quite right. Um, okay, now the hop light. Yeah, nice rich cloak to. Uh, well, offset the off-white tunic, good balance there. Yeah, brightly embroidered uh, colored trousers. Um, okay, and striking a, a color somewhere between bronze and brass for the Thraco Attic helmet. Um, Aspis, yes, Aspis, not Hoplon, uh, with that cream colored face. Yeah, Hellenistic <laughs> bunny ears. Okay, and another thing um, I, I've learned for cloaks, really gotta give it that strongly accentuated um, shading for the for the folds, it really does make it look quite cloak-like. Um, strong shadowing for the strong shadowing between the aspis and the rest of the body to give it that look of depth. And uh, yeah, I just noticed the um, curious is actually not a six pack; it is a four pack. Uh, but somehow it still does work. Um, I like what I've done with the highlighting there. Um, yeah, highlights for the spear outside of the outline to make it pop. Yeah, highlights on the greaves, highlights on the leather shoes to again give it that leather look uh, on the rim of the aspis as well. Uh -huh. Okay, on the brim of that, f yeah, that, that flared brim on the Thraco Attic Helmet really give it an exaggerated uh, highlight to again make it really uh, pop out. Um, yeah, that does look pretty good if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, last touches on the horse harness. And that is pretty much it. Yeah, well, yeah, this was a slightly more unstructured video. Basically, this piece of artwork started off as something quite uh, impromptu, but it snowballed into something that I thought uh, would be worth turning into a video. Anyway, this is also me trying something new. Uh, I hope it was useful, or at least it was entertaining. And uh, yeah, with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.